Let's take a super quick look at creating a picture in picture effect within Resolve. Now here I've just got a video and audio track down below with our one clip. And of course we're going to need a second video clip in order to achieve this effect. So let's come up to the media pool and I'm gonna click hold and drag this down and just create a second video track. And now we're only seeing this top one within our timeline viewer. And let's go ahead and click once to be sure that we have this clip that we just brought in selected. And we'll come to the bottom left corner of our timeline viewer and click once to activate the transform mode. Now we can see we have this white border here and I'm actually gonna use the mouse wheel to zoom out a little bit in our viewer window. I'm gonna grab one of these corners here and just pull that in so that we can adjust its size. We can also click on this image within our viewer and just pull that to wherever we'd like to locate it within our frame. Now, of course, we could have also opened up our inspector and made those adjustments manually. Let's click on the video tab here. We could have manually put in some values if we know what we would like, because as we make our adjustments within the transform tool, we can see that these fields are being updated, their values as we make uh, the adjustments here. Okay, and let's just come to the bottom left corner and deactivate the transform mode. And I'm actually going to press P as in Paul, just to switch to the cinema view mode so we can see what that looks like in full screen. I'll press escape. Now this is looking a little bit rough around the edges here. So what we could do really quickly is come to our effects and then let us come to the open effects, come to our search and I'm gonna type in drop for the drop shadow. Let's go ahead and click and drag that on to our second clip that we brought in. And now we can see that we have a drop shadow that's been added here, which looks a little bit better. And we could of course tweak that a little bit more, being sure that this clip is selected. We're in our inspector, the effects is active for this clip. So we can then adjust some parameters for that drop shadow, such as its shadow strength, taking that up a bit. I'll again go to the cinema view mode so we can see that. Okay, so we can adjust the drop angle the drop distance, the blur. And I'm actually gonna take the strength down just a bit. Okay, so I am about happy with that. We can go ahead and play this back. Okay, now you may have an instance within your timeline, this particular scene here where it switches and you want to move the additional picture to another side of the screen. So we can actually create some keyframes for that. So let's just find where this scene kind of switches a bit. So right about here, we'd want to move that out of the way, say to the top right hand corner. So what we could do is again, be sure our clip is selected. Let's come to the video tab. And then here, we want to come to our position and this is going to be on our X axis, the horizontal axis. So we're going to go ahead and click on this little diamond to create a keyframe. And then let's move forward a little bit just by reusing the right arrow on my keyboard. And then now let's just come to our X position and then click, hold and drag this over to the right. And another keyframe is automatically created just by making that adjustment. So now if we play this back, once we get to that scene change, we should move over to the right. Okay, and then you can always adjust the speed of that. You can click here to access the keyframes. We can also make some adjustments here within our panel so I can click hold and drag this to the right a bit to make this a bit shorter. We'll come back a little bit in our timeline. Okay, so that's a little bit quicker. And we can also make use of some of these other modes here to add a bit of easing to that movement to make it a bit more natural and smooth.